my name is Brittany West, and the novel that I've chosen to teach is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. Fight Club, the novel, explores many different facets of humanness. It explores masculinity that is in crisis. It explores um, what it means to be anonymous, what dangers lie in the sort of mob mentality um, where nobody has any huge part, nobody has a big role, everybody is the same and everybody is nothing and nobody is held accountable for their actions. particular characters have to come together in such a way that these events occurred? And why did these events have to happen in this particular way in order for the book to turn out how it did? These two questions are very important and I focus on them throughout the course of my unit. Some of the big questions that the students should be able to answer by the end of this unit include, what do Tyler and Marla mean to the narrator? Would it, being the novel, have worked with different characters or different relationships between the characters? And why did specific events have to happen the way that they did? Why couldn't they have happened differently? Within the unit plan that I have prepared, two of my three lessons focus on the characters and on the events of the novel itself specifically on the plausibility of the same events occurring in the same way if they were different characters or if the relationships between the characters was different. The summative assessment I've included also ties these two things together in a character and scene analysis essay. Some of the activities that I've planned for class time include writer's workshops, discussions, both in small groups and as a whole class, think pair shares, comparisons between the book and the movie, along with other media such as music and poetry, and an entire lesson that is devoted to connecting the novel with the song of the student's choice and justifying why the student believes that the song fits the novel. Additional activities include character journals, blogs, profiles, creating a website based around Fight Club, and a journal that chronicles the student's journey through the novel in some way other than writing. Some ways that a student could chronicle this journey is through a podcast, a vlog, or a diary. Each of these activities works towards different New York State Common Core learning standards. As I've mentioned before, a lot of the importance in this book falls with the characters. So it's important for students to understand who exactly Tyler Durden is. They need to know that he is an alternate personality that the unnamed narrator created in order to better handle the stresses of his life, but most of all to push his feelings for Marla at. The narrator could not handle his feelings for Marla, which were conflicted between love and hatred. He wanted everything else to end. He envied those dying of sickness and of cancer and he felt that everything in his life was out of his control. But Tyler is funny and charming and forceful and independent, and men look up to him and expect him to change their world. Tyler is capable and free, but the narrator is not. I was going to read one of the more violent passages, but I was advised not to because it's probably a little too violent, but be warned in Fight Club, if you do plan to read it, there are quite a few violent scenes and some harsh language. So I'm going to read instead a little bit of Tyler Durden dogma, if you want to call it that. Remember this, Tyler said, the people you're trying to step on were everyone you depend on. 
or the people who do your laundry and cook your food and serve your dinner. They make your bed. We guard you while you're asleep. We drive the ambulances. We direct your call. We are cooks and taxi drivers, and we know everything about you. We process your insurance claims and credit card charges. We control every part of your life. We are the middle children of history, raised by television to believe that someday we'll be millionaires and movie stars and rock stars, but we won't, and we're just learning this path, Tyler said, so don't fuck with us. So I guess I just really loved this book and the whole message behind it, and I think that it's important for students, especially in high school, to know that they are important and they will contribute to our society and that what people like Tyler Durden say doesn't really matter.